Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually inside the R&D center at Mahindra Research Valley here in Chennai. And we're actually getting a deeper understanding of what's gone into making both the XEV9E and the BE60. So a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of stuff that you wouldn't see normally from any car manufacturer, let alone an Indian one. But here they're taking the wraps off, the covers off and giving us a proper peek into all the R&D that goes down over here. First up, we've got the battery packs that go into the B6E as well as the xev 9 e Now, both these vehicles are available with a 59 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 79 kilowatt hour battery pack. Both battery packs are blade designs and they can withstand an immense amount of heat. Um, Mahindra set them on fire to check them. They've dunked them in water to ensure that no water seeps into the battery. They've driven a truck over it to ensure that it can withstand a ton of pressure. And of course, during their crash test to ensure that these vehicles comply to a five-star safety standard, uh, it's additional pressure on the battery packs. Add to that, uh, the batteries have also been crushed with up to 20 tons of pressure from the side to check if there's any damage or any threat rather uh, to uh, the vehicle or to the occupants. So these batteries have been really pushed to the limit uh, to ensure that they comply with all the safety standards as well as ensure that occupants stay safe when it comes to uh, driving an electric vehicle. Add to that, they also offer an amazing range. So that's the other great part about these batteries is that they are equipped to deliver an insane amount of range. The 79 kilowatt hour battery pack gives these vehicles a range of about 550 plus. So over here what we're looking at is the complete control modules and all the wiring harnesses that go into the BE60. So you know from a lot of the stuff over here if I just read it out so we're talking about the corner radar module, the motor control unit, the onboard charger and DC converter, uh, here we've got the climate control, uh, the front zone, the uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, your middle zone, your shift by wire, all of these elements. So this is what it looks like in terms of all the wiring that goes into an EV. And this is the all new BE60 and it's wiring. So let's move on to the other stations now. And over here we've got the test automation setup for obviously the screens, the infotainment system, as you can see all the speakers are mounted over here. And this is also being done for a range of SUVs from Mahindra. Uh, but I'm guessing that looking at the three screen setup over here is for one of the EVs as well. But we'll find out soon enough when we get our hands on the xev 9 e as well as the BE60. So I'm looking out for this screen in one of them or both of them. And here, this is all the lighting setup. So this is for the BE60, the front lighting, the rear lighting for the same one. And then you've got the xev 90 over here with the front lighting being uh, showcased as well as the rear lighting. So you can see that every component has to go through its own bit of testing, understanding, uh, figuring out just exactly how it works. Even the lighting business is not as easy as it looks. And despite all the testing, sometimes manufacturers get it wrong. But here, I'm hoping that it's all been done right on schedule. So this over here is a very cool bit of equipment. It looks like a very neat simulator and that's exactly what it is. It's currently being used for testing the ADAS systems that uh, Mahindra is going to be utilizing on their BEVs. And uh, pretty neat the way it's set up for it to be able to uh, take a simulation and mimic what the ADAS should be doing. Uh, under various conditions and this is where the ADAS process of testing starts before it actually goes into an actual vehicle and then gets used over there. These neat contraptions are called vehicle test beds and basically all the actuators that come in from various suppliers are all put together here to create the closed system and then it undergoes testing to make sure that everything is happening together and according to what Mahindra wants it to do and behave in that manner. So it's part of the entire testing process and there are about eight of these in here in this lab for them to run various simulations and various tests on how uh, all these systems work together from different suppliers. 
Well, clearly, we're not supposed to be doing any of this in here, but we've gotten permission for it. So let's take a look at this room because it's got a lot of interesting stuff happening in here as well. And over here, we've got the Inglow Electric Origin Architecture. Now, this is basically the very foundation of what Mahindra's BEVs are based on. And it is built to be, like I said, born electric. So you can house a 79 kilowatt hour battery pack, the smaller 55 kilowatt hour battery pack as well. And the dimensions don't change for all the vehicles based on the same platform, which allows Mahindra to use this for scale in terms of utilizing a lot of components uh, such as uh, the suspension, the brake pads, everything can be utilized across different models, bringing in scale into the EV segment, letting them roll out products faster, as well as bringing down costs. So this is actually uh, a part of uh, Mahindra's very own R&D. This is something that they have patented. This is their platform. Uh, if you hear otherwise, those are rumors. And uh, this is what will be the very foundation of this born electric SUV range that we're going to be seeing from Mahindra, starting with the XEV90 and the BE6E, both of which I'll be driving very soon and we're going to have those reviews up on the channel as well. But for now, this was a peek under the skin and what you get at Mahindra, at Mahindra Research Valley, when it comes to developing and building out these really cool SUVs that are going to be electric.